Tennessee loud and clear. You know, I, I think that you sent a really good message. Tennesseans want a conservative U.S. Senator who is going to take Tennessee values and put them to work for you in Washington, D.C. And I tell you what, we could not have done this. We absolutely could not have done it without all of you. I know you want to keep this country moving on the right track, and I am so incredibly grateful for all of you who have stood with us, who have stayed strong, who have worked on the get out the vote, and we appreciate everything that you have done. Thank you so very much. I, I, do have, I do have just a few specific thank yous that I want to say. And first of all, I want to say thank you to the voters of Tennessee. For, yeah, thank you for believing in me and for hearing our message and for giving me your vote and for allowing me to be the first woman ever elected. Thank you also um, 
to each and every one of you who, who has helped support our family. Uh, calls, text, messages, words of encouragement, we thank you. Uh, to Phil Bredesen and his team, I want to congratulate them on a hard-fought race. And I hope that they know... I hope they know that, that my door is always open and that to their supporters, I hope that they will work with us on better tomorrows for our children and our grandchildren. Now, to the future, now you don't have to worry if you're going to call me congressman or congresswoman or congress lady. to do what we do. 
work every day. As I say, I get up and I fight for what I call the big five, faith, family, freedom, hope, and opportunity. And I've asked you through this campaign to, to stand with me. Tonight is no different. I ask that you stand with me as we work on these issues for our state, for our nation. We know that we're going to be going to work early tomorrow on these issues. The transition began. I look forward to being your senator. God bless Tennessee. God bless the United States.